It arrived. I heard that instead of dangerous chemicals, you can use coffee to make photographic prints. Let's try that. Okay, so we're gonna grab 250 milliliters of water. We're gonna add to that four tablespoons, four teaspoons, sorry, of coffee. that in. Okay, now add two tablespoons of washing soda, and then we're going to add to that about half a tablespoon of vitamin C. Okay, there's a little bit of undissolved, like, little chunks, but I think that should be fine. Uh, just try not to let them into the tray. Um, I'm just using a paint tray. You can use whatever tray you don't care too much about. I'm using a paint tray. Okay, and now for the fixer, it's just um, 500 milliliters of water and 150 grams of salt to get a saturated salt solution. Jeez, is a lot of salt. I'll do 140 because um, I had some pieces of paper that got salt crystals on them because uh, they were sitting in overnight because that's how long you need to fix it for. Uh, so I'm just going to do slightly less than a saturated solution. Okay, now I'm going to add this to the fixed tray. Okay, now we're under safe light, and I can grab a sheet of photo paper. Now you'll be able to tell which side is photosensitive because it'll be a little bit glossier than the non-photosensitive side. You might also be able to uh, hear a difference. That's the photosensitive side. That's the non-photosensitive side. So I have this old medium format camera, and you can watch a video about that over there. And I don't have any film that works with it, because it's uh, no longer supported format. So what I'm gonna do instead is just cut some of this paper and use that um, as the film. Don't put it in upside down. Okay, now this is ready to take a photo. Now this will take a little while to develop. Um, big, big mistake that I made when I was just first doing this was exposing things for way too long and then trying to develop them for a very short amount of time. The problem with that is that it ruins any sort of semblance of contrast. It's just an extremely flat image. 
uh, and it doesn't look very good at all. So just be patient. It really doesn't need a whole lot of light to actually make a very nice looking image. This shoots at 1 50th of a second and that renders a good looking image. I think I put this in the camera backwards. Don't put it in upside down. Yeah, uh, so this image is useless. One last time. See, this photo is not only negative, but it is also laterally reversed, if I can hold it. So to fix both of those problems, we can basically just make a contact print. So what I'll do is just flip it over onto the second sheet and expose it. Just like that. And unstick these. There. And now, we should be able to develop this and get a positive that isn't reversed at all in any way. Okay, for some reason I can't nail the contrast like I did with this one. This one was blurry, and all four of these were me trying to get a sharper version. Focus, please. All four of these were me trying to get a sharper version of this, but for some reason I just couldn't nail the contrast. These two look similar in contrast, but the blacks are nowhere near dark enough on this one. Focus, please! So let's make this one last time. <laughs> half sheet left. I still have full sheets. I still have like eight. But this is my last half sheet and I don't want to cut another one in half. Always, always, always turn off the danger light that I'm using to project. Okay. Now, for hopefully the final time, we can develop this. And hopefully I'll nail the exposure. I've got this one here for reference, because this was the pretty much perfect one. It just didn't have high enough sharpness, so I'll use that as reference for when to stop developing it.
I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this, but I think that this developer may have already become tired because I've been splooshing this around in it for like five minutes maybe and I'm, I'm just barely, barely getting an image of the sprocket holes. It's so, so faint. And if it's taken this long to get just this shadow of the sprocket holes, then I don't think this is going to work. Uh, because there are little tiny green lights on all sorts of things and the plugs and everything and I think that by the time this actually would finish developing in this it would be fogged by those so I think I'm gonna have to cover this rinse it off cover it with something and then make a new developer and continue developing that did indeed seem to be the problem job and so there's a couple spots on this photo does continue working because it's still soaked in it so I'm just letting this basically coast for a little while okay now this seems to have gained the proper contrast and we shall rinse. Okay, let's see how we did. Now that it has touched the fixer, it should mostly stop developing. Here's the original. I'll put the original right there, so that it's not actually in the fixer, but it can still be next to the other photo. Now, I'll flip this one over and we can have a look. That looks pretty dang similar to me. I've found that, um, for this particular developer, this particular film, and for this particular fixer, uh, I found that the lower limit for fixing is about six hours. So that's how long until I will check on this again. But for now, I'm going to cover this with some black thing, close these cabinet doors, and hold them shut. I shall turn this off and we shall leave. And yes, I keep the room directly outside of this with the lights off because there's always cracks under every door because that's how houses work. Now, I'm going to go edit this video.